IPTV is having a massive impact on how and when we watch programmes. The future of television is changing. Welcome to Online, the informative TV show that is taking a look today into the vision of evolving IPTV. IPTV? Yeah, IPTV, Internet Protocol Television. Everybody knows what it is. I don't think so, Jamie. Run VT. Do you know what IPTV is? No. 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 I really don't know. I have no idea. Got no us. idea. <laughs> I don't know what that means. No. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. OK, fair point. Internet Protocol Television is much simpler than you realise. Internet Protocol can also be said as IP, which is the address of your computer when you go online. Over the last two years, TV On Demand has become increasingly popular and more accessible to the viewer. I love the On Demand thing. I can choose what programme I want, when I want. It's great if ever I miss one of my favourite shows. Exactly. This is all thanks to the development of IPTV. You have access to this service by internet signals known as broadband, which is sent to your home via an IP address. So basically, IPTV is a technology available from providers such as Virgin Media, BT Vision and Tiscally. Well, almost. You see, Virgin Media service is provided by a slightly different way. There are signals sent using a fibre optic cable, which allow for a f higher bit, bit rate. The bit rate is the speed of your internet. Uh, essentially though, you're getting the same sort of service. Oh, OK. I think I'm following now. But just to make sure, Jamie, why didn't you give us a breakdown of IPTV? Sure thing, AJ. A generic layout of an on-demand player, which is available via your television provider, by pressing the Home button on your con remote control, a menu for TV on demand will appear. That's a library of programmes you can search, isn't it? The one where you can search by date, genre or by channel provider, like Channel 4, for example. Yeah. And when you've found your desired programme, by pressing the OK button, it will bring up an information window which contains the program length, synopsis and the option to view or record that show. Once in play mode, you can play, pause, rewind and fast forward to suit your needs. Anything else? Well, some providers offer a pin protection, but that's generally for parental control or when you're paying, well, when you need to charge for something like movies. I'm sure I can guess what shows you're watching. Ghostbusters. I love it. It's the scene to use like down, dick down, 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 down. So with the TV technology, Sky must be getting a little worried. Well, we sent our reporter Wayne to Coase and Evesham to see a comparison between Sky and Virgin Media. I'm at Coase and Evesham in the TV department. I'm going to speak to John to see what's on offer for consumers in store. What we offer is we offer Sky, which is a satellite based uh, viewing and then we have uh, Virgin Media, which is cable-based. OK, can you describe the differences between the two? Well, with Sky, it's satellite, so what you can do is, is you can pause your wine live TV, you can record it, that's if you have Sky Plus. Sky HD, which sends out your yeah, 720p signal so you can view uh, a certain range of HD services. Um, there's not that many HD services yet, um, but it is progressing, and in the near future we'll, we'll sort of see more channels uh, coming to HD. OK, and what about Virgin? Uh, Virgin is, a, like I said, cable based, which means you get a lot more services because with Virgin Media, when they install it, they also install it through the phone line. So you can receive BBC iPlayer on there now, which is really good if you miss any programmes. You've also got um, the IPTV services, which we can run through, and um, you've got uh, TV on demand. Uh, which means obviously you can watch one, whatever you want, whenever you want, providing they've uploaded it. Uh, so say you miss your favourite chat program, uh, Skins or something like that, and you miss an episode, you can go back and you can watch it. Simple as that. And which do you sell more of here? Uh, we sell a lot more of Sky, but that's because it's a uh, package based with our televisions at £29, you get the box, installation, and everything. So that's pretty much what we sell a lot of that. But we do sell uh, quite a bit of Virgin Media as well. Thanks, John. Okay, thank you very much. Interesting. So which of the three main providers of IPTV is best then? Well, there's BT Vision to begin with. You can have a range of packages which include broadband, calls and more viewing packs. The more you pay, the more you're going to receive in megabytes, calls and the amount of channels which you get. It's a nice sleep box, but you also need a BT Home Hub uh, and you can only get them from BT stores or online. 
And what about Virgin Media? Well, Virgin Media is quite similar. Again, you get uh, all the viewing packages. The more you pay, the more you're gonna, the more channels you receive. The box is quite bulky, but you do get the ITV player, 4D, and BBC iPlayer, and music on demand, and movies as standard. Uh, the amount of digital channels available is presently over 160. Sounds like they're one of the main contenders for IPTV. Mm -hmm. How does Tiscali fare up? Well, Tiscali's not as pricey as the others, but then again it doesn't offer as many channels or as fast a broadband speed. If, uh, if money is an issue in these recession times, then it's probably the package for you. This is all good, Jamie, but hasn't it just been revealed that Freeview is to include certain Sky channels, like Sky One, for example? Yeah, it has, which isn't good news for the IPTV providers, especially since Kangaroo's been vetoed. Kangaroo? Yeah, this is where BBC Worldwide, Channel 4 and ITV plan to launch a video-on-demand service that would have offered more than 10,000 hours of TV programming. Sounds good. And only available through IPTV, I presume? Well, it would have been, but the powers that be felt it would not be fair competition because they would influence a bigger monopoly. But it would revolutionise TV! Well, unfortunately, we'll never know. So what does the future of IPTV hold? Well, we went to the BBC in Birmingham and interviewed Stuart Hainsworth to find out. We use the iPlayer, of course, for... Um, um, on-demand catch-up services during the seven-day window. Uh, we also use that for live simulcasting of uh, radio uh, services and TV services. So your network in your nation, so BBC One, BBC Two, um, and these radio stations in the nation, so Radio Scotland, uh, Radio Wales, and all the 40 local radio stations in England. Uh, as well as that, we have our um, on-demand clips that we use on all our outputs on new sport, BBC local pages, offering audio video content um, to play um, whenever people want it. So there's kind of two areas um, where we use uh, IPTV and you could, you could describe it as such. In terms of competitors in the broadcast sense, they've all kind of got their own, their own catch-up services, but there is a move to um, amalgamate and, and, and to come together in some kind of broadcast standard. What does the future hold? It's a difficult one to answer because the nature of new media and the nature of audiences are shifting all the time so we're always listening to what our audiences want. So we recognised a few years ago that the audience had a, had a requirement to choose their own schedule and choose when they wanted to consume their TV and video. Uh, so with TV and radio and I think that will continue. I think we'll continue to listen to the audience and continue to keep an eye on what's, what's possible that will enhance that audience participation and, and make the audience even more a part of what we do, which is kind of what the BBC is, is there to do, to inform, educate, entertain and listen to its audience. So I think that's the future, just looking at what we do, um, how we connect our programmes with the audience and listen to what the audience want. Well, hopefully now you've learnt more about IPTV and how it works and what it actually is. I certainly have. And thank you all for watching online. Online! online. See you next time. Bye! Bye.